Hallelujah! Welcome to Redeeming Love Blog Meet. Friends and family at home and in internet world, you are signed on to your RLB channel, your YouTube channel promoting 21st century generation, gospel revolution, and liberation for change. Please reach for your Bible and check the scriptural references made prayerfully even as you listen to this blog. I thank you kindly. My text is taken from John chapter 19 verses 25 to 28. It says, Now there stood by the cross of Yeshua his mother and his mother's sister, Mary, the wife of Cleopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Yeshua therefore saw his mother and the disciples standing by, whom he loved, he said unto his mother, Woman, behold thy son. Then said he to the disciple, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciples took her unto his own home. After this, Yeshua, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scriptures might be fulfilled, said, I thirst. He read the scripture reading. Praise the Lord. The subject of my message to us is, as Christ, love and care for your mother as part of your fulfilled life. In the ancient kingdom of Israel, unlike the other sons who got a portion of their father's property, the firstborn son got a double portion. As a result, he took care of his mother and younger siblings who could not take care of themselves. However, Yeshua, the firstborn son of Mary, had no earthly inheritance. Nevertheless, as the firstborn son of the family, he maintained and demonstrated the principle of caring for his mother. While he hung on the cross at Mount Calvary, even to the time when he drew his last breath. Beloved, you should have left us a perfect example of how to honor, love, and care for our mothers. And I urge us to adopt and practice this culture in our families where it is lacking. As Christ, love and care for your mother as part of your fulfilled life. The scriptures in John chapter 19 verses 25 to 27 say that just near to the cross, that is the wooden material on which Yeshua's hands and feet were nailed, stood the three Marys, namely Mary, the mother of Yeshua, the Messiah, or sister, Mary, the wife of Cleophas, and Mary Magdalene. And when Yeshua, our firstborn son, who was about to depart from this world, saw his mother and the disciples standing by whom he loved, he said, Woman, behold thy son. Subsequently, Yeshua delegated his responsibility of caring for his mother to that disciple whom he loved. 
namely John. When he said to him, Behold thy mother. And from that hour, that disciple took her unto his own home. Let's give Yahweh praise. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As Christ love and care for your mother as part of your fulfilled life. Bless me, Ari. To the sons and daughters, whether biological or adopted, who honor, love, and take good care of their grandmothers or mothers, may Yahweh continue to bless you even more abundantly. Praise the Lord. Now I want to pray on behalf of those who act irresponsibly to their mothers, disrespect and or neglect their mothers, control their property and put them out on the street. That chariot turns their life around by the power of the Holy Spirit as well as their hearts back to their mothers in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah! If you are in agreement with me, say amen! The prayer. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, hallowed be thy name. In Yeshua's name, I pray that you have mercy on us, for none is perfect. Thank you for your mercies, love, and grace. For where sin abounded, grace did much more abound that as sin had reigned unto death. Even so, my grace reigned through righteousness unto eternal life by Yeshua the Messiah our Lord. Romans chapter 5 verses 20 to 21. Thus by grace through faith I pray on behalf of sons and daughters who disrespect their mothers and abuse them verbally, emotionally, psychologically, and physically other ways. Even neglect them. That upon hearing this message from the infallible word and other related ones by other preachers, the Holy Spirit convicts them of sin and that some might repent of their evil deeds. Ask Yeshua to have mercy on their souls and receive Christ, his Son, in their hearts by faith in Yeshua's name. For Christ is able to break and remove the curse of sin on whoever believes and Instead, give him her a new nature, a new mindset, a new heart, a new spirit, that is the Holy Spirit, to love God Almighty and Christ his Son, himself, herself, their mother, and gladly care for her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you believe this, shout freedom in Christ. Hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Father. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Bless God. Now, having done this with the Mother's Day celebration, just five days from today, Wednesday 8th of May 2020, Go and make peace with your mother, whether biological or adopted, and take good care of her in Yeshua's name. Remember, every day is Mother's Day. May Yahweh richly bless you and your household. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Father, for your word, for the blood of Christ, for the Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. As Christ love and care for your mother as part 
of your fulfilled life. Well, our time is up. Double click the link https colon double forward slash YouTube, etc. to subscribe, comment, and like this blog. And for your added blessings, please share this video message with as many people as possible. I thank you kindly. If you have a laptop or desktop, remember to move your mouse over the RFB icon at the bottom right hand side of the screen to subscribe in order to receive new notifications. Not well. Subscription is free. Study the message and the scriptures provided and keep praying. Stay safe until the next redeeming love, love, meet. Chill out.